ladies, if you like this super fun party nails, great for any party, any occasion, really. Go ahead and keep watching this video, and I'll show you how to do it. Keep watching. Hello, ladies. The colors I will be using today are this American Appeal No Color or No Lacquer in the Color Office, number 36503. This is a minty, tealish color. Love it. Love the consistency. I love this polish. <clears throat> Excuse me. I will also be using Sally Hansen's Gem Crush in the number Bling Tastic in number 04. And I will also be using NYC's Long Ring Nail Enamel in number 105 Starry Silver Glitter. So we're going to go ahead and polish one, um, two coats of the teal or mint polish. In this case, I'm using Office. Um, I'm using Office from the American Appeal. I polish all the nails that color, and on the ring finger, I went ahead and used Blinktastic. Oops, sorry about that glare. Fantastic on the ring finger, two coats of that, and all the rest of these nails have two coats, but this one only has one. Just to show you guys the uh, the very good consistency that it has and how opaque it is, I love it. You could literally get away with just using one one um, coat of this polish. It's not see through or anything. I really like it. It's, and I like, like I said, the consistency in it. If you guys have never bought any, I recommend you guys to. Because these are amazing. And so, we're going to go ahead and paint second, polish the second coat of the polish. Okay, so that's that, and then, like I said, the rest of these the rest of the nails already have two coats. So, and I did that just for to save more time. And so, what we're gonna go ahead and do is grab our um, gem crush in the number zero four bling tastic. And we're going to go ahead and put that on the tips of each nail. So we're going to grab it. Try to remove as much um, excess as you can so it's not very heavy loaded. Okay, where, where am I on here? Okay, we're just going to go ahead and put the glitter on halfway up the nail. Trying to make it thicker or more polished on the bottom than it is on the top. As you guys can see, towards the top of the of the nail or the middle of the nail, it has less um, opacity of the glitter. Then the bottom is more um, thicker or more opaque in the glitter. So we could do the same thing I did, which was start in the middle, go down, and then slowly lift up. Or what I also like to do is again 
taking off as much polish as I can. Tapping it or make, focusing it all on the bottom and then pulling it up. And then once you do that, you go ahead. I am doing the sideways, as you can see, it, you can already tell the difference between here and up here, and just slightly pull it up as well. So it has more glitter on the bottom of the nail than it does on the top, or the middle should I say. And then we're going to still let this um, index finger dry up and we're going to go ahead and go with thumb again taking off as much polish as I possibly could but still enough for it to have a good bead of polish at the bottom you're going to go ahead and concentrate all the polish in the bottom of the nail and drag it up. You can wipe off and still drag more up. And in my opinion, this looks cute. Again, dab from the side of your brush to get more of a polish or glitter in this case off. And then just pull it right up. And I was about to say, this looks super cute of any color, any glitter. It just looks... Ooh, I don't know if I was on the um, camera at that point, but what that looks like. And if you want to make it more, like, you know, more defined, you could go ahead and, you know, of course, get more. And dab a little bit more. It depends how much of a gradient you want it, really. This is the same exact. See, this is what it looks like now. The pinky. This is what I did for um, my New Year's nails. And if you guys want to see how that looks, I'll go ahead and add a picture at the end of my nails. As was um, how this these nails look, and I'll show you guys what they look like, or what my nails look like. In my case, I went ahead and used. <coughs> excuse me, ladies, I'm a little sick. Um, but uh, in my case, I actually used black as a background color and silver polish. And it looks super cute. Super glitter, glitter, excuse me. And um, it looks super cute. I loved it. Everybody loved it. I had a lot of compliments on my nails that day. Um, it was just, I loved it. It looked really nice. Um, it's it, it was very fun, too. Very, very fun. Very festive. And, um. Like I said, you get a lot of compliments. Because it looks like it's, you know, hard to do. And it is. But, um, once you kind of get the hang of it, then it becomes easier. And it becomes fun. doing the same thing focusing now on the tip of the nail and 
And it, do, it all depends how high you really want the the top glitters to go. You want it higher, then you go ahead and raise it a little higher. Just by, you know, putting a little strokes. And that's how it looks so far. Then we go ahead and be done with this one. And for my New Year's now, what I did was... I'm going to go ahead and put this down. Um, for you guys to see... What they look like right there. Meanwhile, I go ahead and close this polish. <coughs> Excuse me. So what I went ahead and did for my nails were on my accent finger. I went ahead and with the nail nail art brush or or dotting tool or whatever you guys might want. I went ahead and did a 2014 on this nail. I wrote it and then just kept it like that. It looks super cute and I like it. So what you could do if, see for me, I personally like it. I think this is super cute how it is. But um, if you want a little bit more bling, what you could do is with this holographic color. If you guys can see, I'm not very sure. It, there it is. Um, So this color is Starry Silver Glitter. It has blues and purple Hexies in there and holographic, they're all holographic. So, since I want more glitter on my nails, of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and grab this and I'm gonna go ahead and just dab this on the tip of my nail just so it has some kind of you know more of a iridescence to it and if I have chunky glitters like I did right there I want to focus them at the bottom of my nail just so I know that the, that the more opacity of the glitter stays at the bottom and then once you see on the brush there's no more chunky glitters other than the one where is it there's one right there then you can go ahead and just brush on the top see that one right here yeah that's what I was talking about just pick it up and put it in the bottom or just leave it like that and I don't know if you could tell but now it has some iridescence to it Let's see if you can focus it has some iridescence in there Instead of like this one, for instance, it's just blue glitter, no iridescence at all, and silver chunky glitter, but this one there is. So you could do that. And for your accent now, let me zoom out just a little bit. You could go ahead and either just put this on the entire nail. For my personal nails, I didn't add this at all because I went ahead and used Kaleidoscope from the Wet n Wild collection of Sally Hansen. Wait, Sally Hansen? No, excuse me, just Wet n Wild <laughs> Kaleidoscope. And I just went ahead and did that in it to give it that holographic look. And I loved it. So that's what I went ahead and did that with that one. And that's what I what I decided to do on my on my exit now. Again with the rest of the nails, I'm gonna go ahead and put the chunky glitters at the bottom. Just dab it side side dab. We're not we're not trying to brush it so much because then we're gonna get the chunky glitter everywhere. And we're trying to focus the chunky glitter at the bottom. And once that's there, you could move it around slowly, but not completely brush it up because then you have the chunky glitter up here, and that's not really what we're trying to go for. One or two chunky glitter, that's fine because this Gem Crush has chunky glitter in it, in it anyway, 
But again, trying to focus as much as we could of the chunky glitters at the bottom of the nail, as you guys can see there. And it won't give it um, a lot of more flair than it already has, but just looking at the difference, you could already see this one is more shinier and more iridescent than this one. This one looks more opaque, more dull. So, we're going to go ahead and do the same thing to the rest of them. Sorry to get out of frame, ladies. Okay, so where am I? Right here. Like I said, if you get a chunky glitter up here, just go ahead and wipe it off, and then you're fine. When it comes to glitter, <coughs> <coughs> excuse me, in my case, um, what I like to do is place the glitter. Not so much brush it on like I was talking about a few minutes ago, but place the glitter. Not polish the glitter on or anything just place it so I have the glitter exactly where I want it and it's easy for me to be able to maneuver it around so again when it comes to glitter more half let me just put it down more half of the time it stays in the middle of the brush as you can see right there and, and the bottom doesn't really have anything so that's why we're doing this side dab motion Where is it right there so that we can where is it right there so that we can get a good grip or in my case a good chunk of the glitters in the bottom so you know exactly where we want them to be and the rest you just brush it up Okay, oops, sorry about that. And cleaning up the excess glitter. And okay, so we're done with that. And now what you can do, see for me, for any given party, this is great. This is my idea of party nails. Like, you will be spotted in... I mean, look, look at that shine. I mean, come on. This is beautiful. I love how this one looks. Right there. Yep. Right here. I accidentally bumped it a little bit, which is fine because it's since we're chunky glitter anyway. It, since it's chunky glitter. It's bound to dry a little slower than normal, but it's fine. Just to fix it, just dab it on, and we're ready to roll. That's a good thing about glitter. It's so easy to fix it, fix any damage, any mistake. And that's it, ladies. If you guys like it, thumbs up, comment, rate, and subscribe, ladies. Thanks for watching. Bye.